Like and subscribe right now, or you're going to have terrible luck for the next week. Just when you thought you've seen it all, we here at 100M have rounded up 10 of the most unusual pets that people actually own. These guys are domesticating exotic pets instead of cats and dogs, and their unusual companions are weirdly compelling. Some people have actually taken these dangerous animals to their homes and are keeping them as pets. Oh, then there are bears, gators, and crocodiles too? You can't make this stuff up. Number 10. Kangaroo Kangaroos are not domesticated and cannot be house trained. And when it comes to petting a marsupial, native Australians prefer the much smaller wallaby. Kangaroos are too large and they just have a mind of their own, which doesn't go well with most pet owners. But this didn't stop one Sydney comedian from petting a baby kangaroo he had rescued from the roadside from a rural highway. The poor little roo was just a few weeks old when comedian Jackson O. Deherty found her abandoned and freezing by the roadside. Jackson adopted the baby roo and took care of her. He named his new pet Kangaroo Damien, and the two would be seen together almost everywhere, from building sandcastles at the beach, to hopping playfully to the shop, and even at the playground where they enjoy swinging together. Um, not sure where the roo can swing, but their cute videos are on YouTube. And it's hard not to be envious of their strong bond. Number 9. Pocket Pigs Whether you call them pocket pigs, mini pigs, or micro pigs, there's no denying how cute these smaller breeds of pigs are. They're intelligent, curious, affectionate, and quite funny animals. That's probably why mini pig pets have experienced a surge in popularity. However, some of these pigs eat a lot and grow fast. And since most pocket pig pets are sold young, you cannot tell how large they'll grow when they reach their full size and weight. Some mini pigs do grow larger than expected, and not many homes can keep accommodating swine for such substantial sizes. When you look at Jenny's size pet pig, however, it's clear she's one of the few pet owners who doesn't mind if their pets outgrow their once cute and adorable little bodies. Miss Sai has been keeping pigs in her home for 12 years now, and she's been pampering them like with any other pet owner would. Since her pigs grew to robust hogs, she decorated the largest room in her apartment with pig-themed deco to accommodate her grunting flatmates. Boink! Number 8. Fox About the size of a small dog when fully grown, tame foxes will soon be man's new best friend. These foxes were wild but have been domesticated by selective breeding under laboratory conditions and being hand-raised in controlled environments to produce a transformed species of fox, which is much more docile and able to be raised as pets. One such fox is the sensational pet owner by Jessica Coker, Juniper the Pet Fox. And this is no ordinary pet, even as it is an unusual choice of pet. You see, Juniper has a huge following of close to 3 million followers on Instagram. His bio reads, Juniper, the happiest fox. And it's evident that the fox loves his new home. Jessica Cooker adopted the cute, playful fox from an Indiana farmer in May 2015. She carefully socialized and trained her new pet fox from a young age. And although Juniper was bitey when young, he grew out of the habit, and he was only the friendliest, super cute pet she could have gotten. Number 7. Hyena Hyenas are among the most feared animals in the wild. And though they're commonly viewed as opportunistic creatures in matters of diet, you know, taking advantage of other animals' kills for meat, hyenas are not just scavengers. They're natural predators, adept to taking down prey on their own. Would I pet one of these? Definitely not. Sure, they are intelligent and curious creatures, and they kind of look like dogs, but it's their laugh that we can't understand, and honestly, it sends shivers down our spines. But mostly, it's for the bone-crushing power and ability to rip whole carcasses to shreds that we place spotted hyenas up there with a bunch of other dangerous animals we should never pet. A memo Brian Hahn did not receive. Hahn adopted a spotted hyena which lived with him in his Miami apartment. The hyena was only six weeks old, so Mr. Han fed the pet baby hyena some formula through a bottle. And once the spots on his skin became visible, he fed him raw chicken served with Tabasco sauce. Number 6. Grizzly Bear Grizzlies are cute and snuggly, soft and cuddly real-life teddy bears. Yeah, they're one of those few wild and strong animals that don't really want any trouble with humans. But make no mistake. These naturally shy animals are easily startled, becoming potentially dangerous when they feel threatened. They're high, complex creatures, but it's often their unpredictable instincts and use of brute force when defending themselves that has gotten them a bad rep. 
Naturalist Casey Anderson, however, doesn't see grizzlies as aggressive and dangerous apex carnivores. Well, more than a decade ago, Casey rescued a cub grizzly abandoned in the wild by its mother. He raised and cared for his pet bear, and the two developed such remarkable chemistry, never seen between man and bear. For Casey, bears are sensitive and intelligent creatures, and like all exotic pets, they require serious care and commitment. He believes that his unlikely friendship with the pet bear will teach the world the importance of conservation and respect. Number five, hippo. In all honesty, hippos are the last thing that comes to anyone's mind when it comes to keeping pets. Forget lions, rhinos, crocs, and buffaloes. Hippopotamuses are the most dangerous animals in Africa, responsible for more human deaths than any other large animal in the continent. Despite their slightly amusing appearance and friendly sounding name, Everyone knows not to pet a hippo, especially for South African couple Tony and Shirley Jobert. Insane as it sounds, the SA couple rescued and raised the hippo as their pet. They named their pet hippo Jessica, and they have a rather unique relationship with her. You see, Jessica loves to hang out in the river running through their farm in rural South Africa. And she is free to swim down the river where she mingles with other wild hippos. But Jessica always goes back home where she basks in the affection of her human parents. Yeah, the pet hippo is Tony and Shirley's daughter, and as such, she is allowed in the house anytime, despite having broken a few furniture pieces in the occasional stumble. The kitchen is her favorite room, and Jessica doesn't need anyone to open the door for her. Number four, alligator. Meet Rambo, the celebrity pet alligator. People from all over the world admire him. He's probably the most famous gator in the world. Rambo is not your regular pet. He has his collection of custom clothing, watches TV on the couch, his favorite show is The Lion King, eats only frozen chicken, has his own room, and is even potty trained. According to Mary Thorne, Rambo's owner, the gator's immune system was greatly weakened by the poor living conditions in his younger years. Hence, he is severely sensitive to sunlight. Well, that explains the cool outfits, complete with sunglasses. Mary loves Rambo immeasurably. She dresses him up for every holiday and often takes him on a ride on her motorcycle. Gators may seem scary, but Miss Thorne disagrees. Rambo is trained not to bite and keeps his claws clamped when around people. At the end of the day, though, she agrees that gators are wild animals, and if handled by a clueless person, someone could get hurt. Number three, crocodiles. What's it like living with a massive three meter saltwater croc at your house? Not many of us have that answer, but Vicki Loving does. She lives with not just the massive saltwater croc, but two other, smaller freshwater crocodiles in her suburban home in Melbourne. Vicky's love for native animals began when she was young. She takes home the award for the most unusual pets people actually own. At 23, she adopted her first ever saltwater crocodile, and today, the 60-year-old cannot imagine a life without having to take care of the species. She has a license to keep her pets, and with her years of experience, she's a resource person handling crocodiles. For her, it's a full-time job taking care of these unusual and exotic pets. She feeds them, happily walks them whenever necessary, and she even shared a bed with one of them for years. Now it's time for today's best pick. And in today's best pick, we have this picture sent to us by a subscriber, just like you. It shows the image of a man spending some quality time with his pet snake. Let's find out more. Number two, King Cobra. A cobra's bite, if not treated, can kill the victim within minutes. That's how insanely dangerous and terrifying cobras are. The king cobra is one of the most famous species of cobras. It has a fairly toxic venom, not the most toxic of all cobras, but spits huge quantities enough to kill a fully grown elephant. It's also the longest venomous snake in the world. Need I say, if you come face to face with a king cobra, you should run. But one daring Chris Wheat has grown fearless with these deadly reptiles. And I'm not sure he'll take seriously our advice to run, seeing as he has king cobras for pets. Chris's majestic pet cobra named Oracle is a spectacle, and it's quite disturbing, but fascinating at the same time, to see Chris get so close to the cobra that their lips touch. Boy, that's too close for comfort. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell and you'll get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. Number one, tiger. As if five are not enough, 
A Brazilian man owns and lives with six tigers in his home in Moringa, Brazil. Ari Borges rescued two tigers, Dan and Tom, from a traveling circus bringing them to live in a house he shares with his wife and three daughters. Ari modified his home by building a secure outdoor enclosure to make room for the new members of the family. But even with their outdoor space, tigers could still enjoy the comforts of the main house. About the safety of the daughters, Ari says he's never been worried. He believes that it's possible to bond with the big cats, especially if you bottle feed them at a young age. And although he agrees that tigers may only form a strong bond with one human and remain wildly cautious of others, his daughters spend time with the tigers every day. They give him baths and feed him, something that made him develop an unimaginable soft spot for the big cats. Even Aerie's grandchildren fell in love with the tigers. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. If you enjoyed, be sure to smash the like icon and leave a comment. Your engagement is what keeps our curiosity going. We have lots of fantastic videos that you will enjoy. You can start by checking out the two already showing up on your screen right now. Keep it 100.